So, good morning. This is Mike from Mike and Susan's Adventures. I am coming to you from my Jeep that I affectionately call Sand Puppy. And we're not going to be in the sand today. We're going to be in the mountains. We are on our way to uh, big levels. And uh, getting close to the meetup point, and uh, we'll talk to you more there. Okay, so uh, here we go. Coming into uh, the National Forest here, big levels. There is a uh, little gas station convenience store just, oh, just within walking distance up the road. Oh, and I am not the first person today. Look at that. Okay, so we're on Coal Road. Um, we're moving from the meetup point to the staging point up closer to the trail. Anybody else coming? So, see you up there. Okay, so we're on the start of the trail. I think I counted 13 Jeeps with us today. There are a few other uh, groups with us. So, uh, away we go. So, I'm not going to record the whole trail. Um, right now, it's been real simple. Been four low, not that it's needed yet, but it just makes everything easier. Um, there are plenty of videos out there on YouTube if you want to uh, look them up. Uh, I've gotten a lot of rain the last couple of uh, this last week, so we've got water coming down the trail. See how our traction does. Of course, water takes a route of least resistance. And right here, it looks like the trail, so. It is nice when, uh, even though there's a lot of videos up on a trail, when you find uh, recent ones, because everybody knows, especially after a winter up in the mountains, the trail can change a lot or even just heavy rainfall, so. There goes the first obstacle. Wasn't bad. Guess what? I'm gonna try. Uh. I wasn't paying attention to what our elevation was when we started. I meant to, but uh, currently we're at uh, 2,400 feet. There on the right's one of the uh, 
That's an alternate route. We are not taking it today. I haven't seen any videos with anybody taking it either. I don't know how bad it gets up there. We do have some people with stock, uh, even older ones with uh, 31 inch or less tires. So. so in the group that went up before us, I did see a stock Chevy Silverado 4x4 with pretty much stock highway all terrains. Um, haven't seen anything yet that they couldn't do. A couple of the turns might have been a little tight. Um, I'm told the only places from a couple people that went through here a week ago uh, that he might have problems though is probably towards the end of the trail. There's a couple of deep mud holes, um, including the, the alternate on one is fairly deep. So we'll get to them later. I just heard on the radio we got a group coming down the mountain it's interesting um, when I uh, read the forestry service map it called this a one-way only but trail guide said that quite often people go both ways um, and I was wrong about the number of Jeeps in our group we actually have 22 so yeah Well, the first one in the group was a uh, stock Jeep Renegade on all terrains coming down. The rest of these are looking pretty capable. I guess if you're going to find a place to pass, this is probably a, one of the more opportune places to get past each other. So. All good. I guess this is uh, where that alternate comes back in. Oh, look at the water. Well, the growth's getting really close here. We are currently at about 3,100 feet and still climbing. We're about four and a half miles or three and a half miles into the trail. 22 Jeeps stopping, doing some posing and other stuff. It's taken us so far about an hour and a half, I think. So I guess we're not doing too bad. 
had a group behind us that took the alternate route to try to get in front of us and they got close but about the first five six jeeps made it through so they still had to wait behind us yes we are uh coming up on the overlook probably be stopping there be my guess So we stopped for lunch, getting ready to get back on the road. Currently at uh, 3,253 feet at the overlook. And we're back on the way. So six and a half miles to the Blue Ridge Parkway. That's where we're gonna come out, so. And we're, uh, so far, I got us down for uh, three and three quarter miles in. Okay, so I uh, got an obstacle coming up here. Another pose of rock. I think the guy in front of me is actually gonna not just pose on it, I think he's gonna go all the way across. So we'll see if we can't get a little uh, camera footage of him going there. And up he goes. I think he's gonna go up and over. I'm gonna go around. This is my daily driver. I gotta tow it behind the motorhome on the way home. I heard him, he's on something there. Yeah, I don't need no part of that. He's taller than me with taller tires than me. Oh, you can see this whole underside there, can't we? Bypass on the second pool, but it's not too deep. Just don't uh, don't wait around in it. You might sink. Blocks at the end of it. is almost completely dry so um but it, it's about i would say halfway up the tire on 37. well we've gone about four and a half a little over four and a half miles and i uh, got another five miles to go so we're pretty much almost dead smack at the halfway point
don't know if the camera's picking it up, but the whole left lane is just like a stream down the mountain. Of course, in the last week, I think they've got about two inches of rain up here, and it's been just a, a wet spring period. So, none of the mud holes have been that bad. They've been all pretty uh, solid bottoms. And I had one that was kind of deep that I took the bypass. But, I said, uh, it was up to about the cowls on the first Jeep. I think, can't remember if the first Jeep's on 35s or 37s though. Um, the bypass, I don't know, probably had about 18 inches of water in it. So, guess we got another deep one coming up. I didn't hear uh, how deep it was um, based upon him having 35s. Which side of this is supposed to be the by, uh, bypass, the right? Somewhere along the way, I've lost my uh, altitude reading. My guy is not working right. I don't know why. It still says I'm at 3,300 feet, but I know that's a lie. So, it is what it is. So coming up on our biggest mud hole, of, or what's supposed to be the biggest mud hole of the day. Uh, left side, they said, came above the fenders. He's I think I take the bypass. Sounds like Amanda used her snorkel. With uh, 37s with the snorkel. Of course you would. <laughs> uh, 
on my head. No, they said that last one was the last water spot. I guess it was just the big water spot. Is anybody riding on Monday? Is it means some covered bridge on Monday, Hester? Um, I'm actually driving home because I gotta get home. Um, that's a photo op opportunity only. I know, I think Ron's good taking a group up there if they want to. I actually was going to try to hit it tomorrow after we came off the trails myself. Tomorrow sounds good with me. I got to head back first thing Monday. Yeah, so we'll look at the time tomorrow and see what time we get off the trail at Blackpool and see if we can just run up there um, tomorrow evening. You might want to take that one wide. 10% upgrade here. Probably can't tell on the camera. Hold off up front. Holding. Okay, we're coming. Last stop, I did look and Roger that. surprisingly, I didn't have, I don't think I had any pen stripes. It's like driving through uh, Costa Rica. That's because it's all uh, lush gotcha. and green and not dead. You know, some of the roads in Puerto Rico will be like this too. So we're getting close to the Blue Ridge Parkway now. I'm getting close to 3,500 feet. We'll stop on the Blue Ridge Parkway and air back up and that'll be it for today. And then tomorrow will be uh, flagpole knob. So, so I don't forget, I wanna say uh, thank you to the Hampton Roads Jeep Club it's been a great day of wheeling out here. Looks like we might have something fun to go down. Now, well, just a little bit. Front tires going down. A little bit of rub. That's what Jeeps are for, though, ain't they? Hey, CJ, the uh, rub. black uh, YJ stock may need spotting coming down that uh, obstacle. Roger that. I'll get house spotter. Does she have a radio? Not sure. Jerry, can you hear us? I'm going to spot you coming down. Um, let me know when you get to the obstacle. A little bit of soup. She's not bad. Bad at all. Yeah, right down the tree to your right. See there? Yeah, it's right here. Hey, give me a second to walk up there.
Well, we're down to our last half mile. Um, it's just going to get smoother from here. Eventually, it's going to turn into gravel, and then we'll get back up to uh, the Blue Ridge Parkway. So, is anybody having a drink or anything afterwards? So, again, I'd like to thank Hampton Roads uh, Jeep Club. It's amazing how much uh, dispersed camping there is up along this trail, you know, and the trail and the- Yeah, because the hotel room does not look appealing to me right now. First camping is, is free, so. I got an hour drive, so. Not very often you get free, so. So I'd like to thank y'all for uh, tuning in. Tomorrow I'll be doing flagpole, if anybody's interested. Um, I don't know if I'll be posting when it's gonna get posted, but or yeah, the one for that matter but i'll be doing flagpole and as soon as i can get them edited and put up depending on what type of signal i got and what type of time go ahead and uh if you enjoyed it and you want more go ahead and hit the subscribe and hit the like and the share and use all the help i can get and we'll see you all later bye bye